Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sword and Shield. In the last episode, we started catching new Pokemon. And in between episodes, I did like try to do a bit of experience leveling. You know, nothing too major, because since both Pokemon are around level 7, I decided to train the entire team up to around level 9. McGuffin got to level 10 though, but nothing too bad. Also, I caught a lot of Pokemon off screen. Uh, I didn't read their decks and she's on screen, so I could go through them real quick. Where are they? Because there's Blipbug, which I am adding to the team. A constant collector of information. This Pokemon is very smart, very strong, is what it isn't. Oh, it's very smart. Very strong is what it isn't. Uh, does this just send me to the next thing down, or... Oh, okay, good. That means I don't have to just go through everything. I found a Galarian Zigzagoon. Its restlessness has it constantly running around. If it sees another Pokemon, it will purposely run into them in order to start a fight. Wow, what a dick of a Pokemon. But then again, it's a Honey Badger, so... Understandable. It steals things from Pokemon just to amuse itself with their frustration. A rivalry exists between this Pokemon and the Nicket. This Pokemon is very popular as a herding dog in the Galar region, as it runs it generates electricity from the base of its tail. And then that's all of them that I caught recently. So yeah, the team's starting to be well rounded out. I'll probably be swapping a bunch of these members in and out. Okay, Watson's not going to be part of the team. She's just here for now. Like, I literally just caught her two seconds before starting the recording. So yeah. I think we got a very healthy mix of Pokemon. Okay, it's just, just another big-headed turtle. So, now we can actually go on to doing the next area of the game. Uh, did we fight this guy? No, we didn't. And also, I learned. The exclamation points are actually different Pokemon. They aren't like just things that normally show up. So, I gotta actually do those when I see them on each new route. Cause that's how like literally all those Pokemon except for Yamper showed up from. Oh, and also another reason I leveled up. Uh, uh, why are the wild Pokemon stronger than the trainers? Like, all the Pokemon were like level 7 to 9. Well, this guy's over here at a level 5. Well, they probably didn't hit level 9, but they were still like relatively high. Like, Daji's just barely above them. Ooh, yeah, we can actually use different Pokemon now. Uh, my best option for fighting one of these things is out of commission. You aren't really that good either. Yep, let's go with Babook Babook, our defensive little abyss turtle. And also, there's a few Pokemon I've been enlightened to that make me excited to get to certain areas, even though I won't be using them on my team. Cough Cough Maractus. I was just told a Maractus is in this game, which I'm excited for just to have one, even if it's not being used. Because it's the best grass type of all Pokemon. And if you have anything against that opinion, well, fight me. You, you, you collect whatever Pokemon you want, and you can't tell me Maractus isn't just the best thing ever. Okay, well, second best. Hydreigon's right there, but still. Actually, now that I think about it. This game has both Hydreigon and Maractus. And I won't be using either of them, even though I have access to like my top two favorite Pokemon. That was weird. Heads that just went out for a few moments. It... Oh. Yeah, you would lose to wild Pokemon and trainers with level 5 Pokemon. Like, I saw that. Where was that glimmer? Wait, was that? Yep, there it is. I knew I saw a freaking sparkle off the corner of my eye. But yeah, if you're Pokemon only level 5, you're definitely gonna lose. Uh, oh, did I see another glimmer over here? Oh. It's one of these games. Where you can only fish in certain areas. You have so many options! Like, why? Oh, I 
probably should swap Score Bunny out for me. Score Bunny's gonna one shot. Oh. Never mind. Carry on. I thought Score Bunny was gonna one shot everything. I. With the, like, it's been one Pokemon, well, one Pokeball per Pokemon, with the exception of Kitsune and Yampers. So, yeah, I caught a fair amount of Pokemon to go from 25 to now 17. Okay, Watson, you need to get off my team. You're, you're taking experience away from everyone else. Uh, of course. You gotta name it Rapture. It's a big beast and it's a water type, so why not? Cause that's what the underwater city's named, right? If I remember correctly. Or is Rapture the one from Infinite? Eh, whatever. You all know what I'm talking about, so that's all that matters. Oh. The the fishing spot was. Okay, I was gonna say, is the fish spot one time use? No, you just have to walk away from the water for a moment. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, just another Fee Bat. Not Fee Bass, Magic Carp. Oh, the Fee Bass! That'll be way better. Okay, just, just wait. No need for this. Uh. Yeah, let's put Kitsune in the front of our party. And yes, I will not be calling any of them by their proper names. Look, there's the professor! So, you've unraveled all the secrets of Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh, goodness no! Oh wait, hmm. Hello, dearie. Oh, goodness no! Those, the whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hope that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Dear me, I'm sorry, I didn't even notice my guest. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now, come, let's head indoors. Why, hop, dear. I see Wulu has made some new friends. And you must be Lilith. I trust you received the Pokédex from Sonya. I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. <laughs> yeah, you must be all you must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Lilith? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. And it takes proper understanding of things if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go again, Leon. Why always talking about Pokemon? There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know. Like how many different types of tea there are. Answer, a lot. Hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Hop and Lilith only just started out as Pokemon... Jesus, <laughs> that was not the right voice. That's still lots that they don't know yet. I thought your dream was to have everyone in the Gala region become strong. Trainers, isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. Their goal is precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. Right, then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. <clears throat> Ugh. Magnolia, going from Magnolia to Leon's voice, I actually screwed that voice up, Jesus. Yeah, and don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Oh yes, thank you. If I knew we were about to get healed up, I would have put the worm up front. Right, I'll be waiting outside, Lilith. Oh sweet, we can actually reset the team. Uh, it's a fridge with some scratches on it. Did Pokemon try to... Okay, well, that's their first mistake. They tried to open the fridge themselves. Oh, it's a turtle. The turtle goes squee. Okay, I guess that's the noise turtles make. Oh, hello. Uh, okay, so, yeah. That guy's just chilling in the house. Oh, there's an upstairs. There's a lot of books that look difficult to understand. Some of them 
are collections of Professor Magnolia's research. Uh, I'm gonna guess we just found Sonya's room. Seeing as though there's a Yampers on the screen, I would assume that my guess is correct. Ah, so it seems even when it's not the protagonist, there's still only ever one bedroom in the house. Okay, well, there's probably that's probably another bedroom, now that I think about it, but still. There's only one bedroom that we can access. Ha! Huh, nothing escapes my... Oh! Yellow Pokeball. Okay, TMs. And they can tell you what Payback actually does. Sweet. I'm probably never going to use Payback, but it exists now, so... Nothing I could say is wrong with this. Uh, I feel like there's another hidden... Yep. My gamer senses are too strong. Oh, it's just... Okay, well, great balls aren't really needed much. Like, I feel like most games are like, yeah, you have Pokeballs, and then you have Ultra Balls. <laughs> like, you rarely ever use great balls. Hurry up, Lilith! You gotta battle me so I can get myself that endorsement! Okay, fight me, nerd. I'm gonna become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. And to do that, I need the endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you have so we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes. Of course. Or I'm about to just sweep your team with Kitsune. I'm ready. I'm rather interested in seeing how you two young trainers battles, too. Yeah, listen to... Listen, you two, the, rumble, the reason I am unbeatable is because I learned that from... Yeah, listen, you two, the reason I am unbeatable is because I've learned from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten to where I am today. So, show me go something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. Uh, okay, but calm yourself. You aren't the one creating a grand legend. Also, is your hair alive? Jeez, that's actually kind of creepy. Have you gotten a bit stronger? Me and my team will put you to the test and see. Oh, you have three Pokemon now. But uh, I'm gonna hit you with a knockoff real quick. Don't know if you have items. That did a lot of damage! Far more than I was expecting. And it didn't even knock off anything, so no for fact. No items on his Pokemon. Knockoff's just a good move. Wait, I don't think Knockoff got another buff recently, did it? It's still like a 65? Yeah. I guess that's just the difference between... Wait. I thought this was a 20 power move that hit multiple times. Was I just wrong about the way beat up worked? Is both its power and number of times hit determined by the party? Oh, I... Oh, the damage is probably determined by each, like, Pokemon the party's level. That's probably what it is. Uh, Crookie's a grass type. So yeah, let's bring out McGuffin. He hasn't gotten a chance to do anything. I'm gonna guess his last Pokemon is probably... Uh, Rookie D or... What else was there? Purloin? Yeah. I can see Purloin being a thing that's used. So then you'll have to think, where did he catch one of those? And probably go check exclamation points. Well, look at you. Seems you've really learned your tight matchups. <laughs> no. I, I knew this from day one. Like, if I didn't even have Rookie D, I would just, like, bring out my starter and, like, ember you. Like, no. I'm not back to, like, <laughs> I'm doing something really good. I'm just playing the basics. Okay, yeah, I... Why are the wild Pokemon so much higher level than trainers? Am I missing something? Oh, it's a Rookie D, okay. Uh, you know what? But book, book, book can be the last one. Now wait, the three primary members are of our team that aren't the starters, get it. It'll be a close one, but that's exactly my sort of match, but... Uh, so you're telling me you're about to sweep my team with the level 5 Rookie D? 
Like, no, you aren't. Now, if you sent out Rookie D first and then Grookie last, I would understand. Did I actually get hacks? This is great. I never get flinches with my freaking things, fights, rock slides, and whatever. Uh, headbutt, I think, also flinches? Yeah. Like, I rarely ever get flinches off of those. Oof. Got it that I lost, but I'd expect nothing less from my rival. Look, you're only a rival if you're on par with me. Wild Pokemon are a better fight for me than you. And I even got my Pokeball throw perfect, too. That's the stink of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? Okay, I don't need a level grind ever until I see another Pokemon at my level now. Lilith, hop! Well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I have little choice but to give you both an endorsement as champion. What I want to know is, who, like, does it have to be someone from the league or a professor who can do these? Cause like, what if you're just, like, some random kid without connections? Like, you don't live in this town, so you can't go to the professor. You, you aren't the brother of the champion. You aren't, you have no connection to a gym leader other than, I want to fight you. Like, what do you do in that case? How do you get the letter of endorsement? Yes, thanks, Lee. I swear I'm going to win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young, still, and plenty rough around the edges, but it's a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling excitement and every last cell of our bodies. Hop, you've always tended to get... <clears throat> to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball out. Things have that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I'd be worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense, but it seems you've really grown up a bit, little brother. And I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Lilith. Alright, Lilith. You and me are going to train up against one another to aim for the champion's title. Against one another? That's right. The way That's the way of it when, you're go when you've got a great rival, just like you've got me and I've got you. Huh? What's that? Sweet! Mega Stone! Or are these the Z stones that become Z crystal rings? Lilith, would you look at this? They were shooting stars! Oh, they're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. You've obtained a wishing star. A stone found the Gala region with a mysterious power. It is said that your dreams come true if you find one. Okay. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're going to be massive. Yes! Man, what are the odds? Trust you to pull something like... Oh. Trust you to pull something like this? They say wishing stars fall down for those who have true wishes in their heart, you know. I'll be the greatest... The greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. There, I've said it three times, so surely my wish will come true now, right? Don't be silly, Hop. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They are one of the most precious resources we have here in the Galar region, but they won't do a thing for you on that state. Give them to me now, and I'll have you sorted. All right, we, you've done heaps for of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please give Lilith and me the power to Dynamax our Pokemon. First, we've got, got to battle against that mad Pokemon in the slumber and we all did. Now this, it really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Whoa, Sonya just... Don't just come out of here. Seems I've come back home right in time for all this excitement. Hey, you lot, why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy curries. That was a healing sound effect, I think. It's morning at last, and time for our adventure to truly start. Good 
good morning to you, young challengers. Hop, is, is it true you really met some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there, like, anything more f you can tell me about? Er, well, there was a weird heavy fog, and then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. Lily tried to fight it off, but then I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. Alright. Oh, wait. Alright, font of information you are. Lilith, hop, these are for you. Sweet, we got our Z Crystal Ring. I mean our Dynamax Band. I mean our Mega Bracelet. Wait, nope, I had it right the second time. You got a Dynamax Band from Professor Magnolia and slipped it on your wrist. Sweet. Those are your Dynamax Bands. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like the one Lee has on him, too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it not so simple as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet if you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form. Mm. Now, don't be afraid to go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That will help fill out your Pokedex, too. The Legend of My Reign is finally about to begin. Come on, Lilith, I'll beat you to the station. Wait. Why column? Uh, you're out of. Okay. Link trade. Okay, that's just normal trading. Link battle. Normal battles. Okay, there's our trainer card. Maybe not. Oh, good. Yeah, let's go with the last for now. Oh. Spoilers. We now know all the gems and their orders. Wait. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can I not count? Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's eight things in a row, but... Okay. I guess there's just more than eight badges. Cool. Is this just one to trade? Uh. Yeah, this is legit just one to trade. Okay, I, I guess. So, we now have access to the internet. One last thing before we race, Lilith. See, I've got some great advice for you. You know how sometimes you how you sometimes see Pokemon wandering around the tall grass, yeah? If you move real slow like and crouch down, those Pokemon won't pay any notice. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, they'll be sure to catch their attention. If you're in a if you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember, this will need this. Need a fail proof trick? Press the left stick. Okay. Try it on. Let's see who can catch the most Pokemon, Lilith. You remember Wedgehurst Station, right? We're gonna, where we want to, where we went to pick up Lee before. That'll be the goal to see you there. That'll be the goal. So see you there. Jeez. Okay, so some Pokemon scatter while some follow us. Okay, that's neat. And it really is only on the left stick. Okay. You got me. I tried to press the right stick immediately after you told me that it's left. Up. Oh. Ampers, you're really far away from tall grass. Uh, please, everyone ignore me. Just pass it on through in a race that I am bound to lose. Man, I really wish there was a... Really a race I'm bound to lose now. Uh, I really don't like you, Skywuppet. Like, everything about your face is just like, mm, nah, not for me. And that's coming from someone who likes B.E. him. So, what does that say? Well, except 
you just aren't my cup of tea. I know three people who like you. Oh, you're waving to me. Were you here before? Hello. I saw Hop sneaking off towards the station. Yes. He. What do you mean sneaking off? He was probably in a mad sprint there. Come on, Lilith. You'll never beat me to the station at that pace. Yeah, especially when you start running when I'm not even moving. Like, I, I'm definitely guaranteed to lose if I'm not racing. Like, Jesus, Hop. You're like Barry. Except, you're like, emotive. Like, Barry only had text. So, out with a look, how many did you catch? I caught a really special one, and you got... Not one. What were you doing this whole time? C you're going to want a team if you're tra- Hold on now. Sure, I didn't catch any Pokemon on my way here, but that's because I caught one of every type of Pokemon on my way to the lab. Like, I didn't just beeline it to the lab, you know. That's a technical machine. A TM, mate. With a TM like that, you can teach your Pokemon a new move in a flash. And you can use them again and again, too. That one can teach the move Swift. Lee gave it to me ages ago, and now it's yours. The gym challenge will begin in... Moto Stoke. And our train's waiting, so let's go. Sweet. Off to Moto Stoke City. Not quite so fast, you two. What are, you, what are you doing here, Mum? I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Grookey as a partner, darling. Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know that you two were setting out. So, here's a little gift to see you to see you all set on your way, and the kit you'll need for camping. Sweet, we got camping gear. That fits in the palm of our hand. Uh, everything you need to set up a tent and get cooking in a wild area, or at a camping spot. No matter what happens out there, if you and your Pokemon are together, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, Mom. And just think how lucky you are. Mother's the first ever pair of champion brothers. Because I'm certain to be the, the champion next, you'll see. Oh, you will be, darling. Anyway, do have fun and take care of yourselves. You'll be welcome back home anytime. <laughs> we'll be fine. Wish us luck. Now that, not that we'll need it. There are loads of brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokemon out there waiting for us. My excitement's running ahead of me even faster than that train can go, Lilith. T Jesus. Come on, we're off. I'm the most awkward reader ever. Was that ringing noise the game? I was gonna assume that was, and not just my head just going out. Yo, there's a blue Rotom phone? Motosoke is surrounded by a vast wild area. It is a real sight. There are all sorts of wild Pokemon just wandering about everywhere you look. Plus, you can camp out, do a spot of fishing, and don't think I could ever get and don't think I could ever get tired of it. Oh, this is Lee talking. I thought this was like a news broadcast. They just happened to be playing at the perfect time. Hey Mr. Station Master, isn't this the wild area? What are we stopped here for? Yes, this is the wild area station, make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you this, that the train has halted due to a flock of Wooloo on the tracks. What? What's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant! What is? I just want to go to my next town. This wild area is massive. There are loads of Pokemon to battle here. You get it, don't you, Lilith? This is the best place to, be, to put together the greatest team. Okay, but we don't have access to the PC. Yeah, we don't have access to a PC. Oh! Okay. Ticket booth. Pokemart. Okay, still the same amount of goods. Eh, just, just buy three. Give me back up to 20. I shouldn't need more than this. Uh, any of you guys give me free stuff? Okay, so EVs. And, oh, okay, you guys are for the Let's Go promotion. Find your way through the wild areas to reach Motosuke well, Motostoke next. Yo, this, this place doesn't look bad. What are those giant light pillars? Uh, 
any hidden items pressed in the back of the screen? No, okay. Oh, hello, my good sir. Oh, lady. Hello, my good madam. Hi there, would you like to rest your Pokemon? Oh, okay, so you're the Pokemon Center. Got it. Oh, we've been going at this for 30 minutes. I'm going to call the episode here. I lost track of time just playing Pokemon. So, until next time.